Hey guys, uh, so in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to increase the overall feeling of immersion in sync life and there's a lot more to it than just graphics and we're gonna go through all of them one by one a uh, quick add to this place is a new gaming house team community me and some other people are making uh, so if you guys want to check us out the name is really hard you can just look us up on search or something like that and if you want to hang or just swipe in general so yeah uh, first there's the camera uh, I've made another video explaining this, but you can make the default camera position on Sync Life lower uh, towards your character, and you can do this by going to Advanced Menu, which you need to enable first in Preference, and then go to the go to the Debug Settings, and you want to find these two values. Uh, rear i mean camera offset rear view and focus offset rear view and you can change those until you find the camera position that you like the most or you can just copy the values from what i have on the screen hold it um, There you go. And this just gives a, a more immersi immersive feeling in sick life. And the second thing that is one of the most easiest things to do with your camera is by reducing the field of view. And by default, the field of view looks like this. And it's fine, but by reducing the field of view slightly, like that, uh, you can uh, increase the feeling of immersion by making objects that are in front of you feel much closer. And it just gives a uh, more feeling of immersiveness that way. And lastly, with the camera, you can increase the camera smoothness like you can see there my camera is kind of smooth and on alchemy viewer you can easily do this by going to preference and go to the move and view settings you can do this on firestorm and the second life viewers as well i'm gonna sh uh, show on the screen which settings on those viewers that you need to change in order to make your camera smoother and it, it just give a nice and smooth feeling while you're using sync life and then there's the graphics as you can see around me i have a lot of stuff going on like i have the glow which kind of creates a bloom effect and this is dynamic bloom effects it's not like pre big like if i turn off the light here the lights you can see they are all dynamic and with smooth shadows and stuff uh, you probably don't see it now let me change it to 6 pm and you can see i managed to achieve smooth shadow without really increasing the resolution which creates lag and i'm gonna show you how to do that on alchemy but let's talk about the smooth i mean the bloom effects first uh, you can achieve that kind of bloom effects on lights and lighted surface by going to graphics and lighting now in another in other viewers 
the options might not be here but you can totally find them in the box settings and I'm gonna show you guys on the screen how to get this effect on Firestorm so yeah mm. what you want to do is you want to decrease the minimal luminance to zero because by default it looks like this and there's just less bloom effects on lights and stuff with it somewhere other than zero and once it's on zero you kind of get these bloom effects on lights and it's not just on lights but on lighted surface like you can see on the wall there there's sort of bloom that you can see and even on my clothes so yeah and you can adjust the intensity by changing the strength uh, you don't <laughs> you don't want to overdo it but you also don't want to make it too low I have mine set on 0 to 50 you can copy my settings if you want but you can also adjust it so it suits your liking more and now about that smooth shadow okay mm. in alchemy if you go to environment editor and go to the environment tools under rendering you will find the settings for the shadows and you can find the settings on another place on firestorm and even the default second life viewer but basically uh what I change is the clarity, like by default, this is how shadow looks like. And if you change the clarity, as you can see there, it became much sharper. And I did that without changing the resolution value. Because if you change it through resolution, creates a whole lot more lag for some reason <laughs> like you can see my fps just got cut in half because of that but if you keep it at one you can see my fps just uh got to 100 so yeah you want to make the shadow much sharper and clearer by changing the clarity instead of the resolution and again you can just copy my whole settings here if you don't want to figure out how i mean what kind of values that you want to put and this is my general graphic settings uh you can put almost everything on high except max vertical count and draw distance and the max number of non-imposter avatars so you want to keep those on low and you want to keep water reflections on minimal except maybe if you're sailing or something so this is like a good balance between uh, performance and graphics quality like I'm running on a GTX 1060 right now with the i3 9100F and both of them are kinda old and they're very cheap like I'm sure you can get both of them for under a hundred dollars each these days so it's not like I'm running a very high-end PC or something and you can see that even with these settings and this kind of look my FPS is still pretty high and even if people are coming like if there's like six or seven people here or something it it won't go below maybe 30 
so it's not that bad for uh, the kind of hardware that I have and you can see that things do look nice so yeah there's that in terms of graphic settings oh, yeah. and you want to make sure that you keep this uh, two values, anisotropic filtering and anti-aliasing as high as possible because they don't really generate that much lag but they make things look a lot nicer and next there is the UI elements and the interface now currently I'm running on borderless windowed mode and instead of just full screen mode I mean I'm sure most of you know how to get sync life in full screen mode but there's just a lot of problems with, with that like if you alt type and stuff you you get like and a lot of weird stuff sometimes especially if you like to stream sync life so that's the reason why a lot of people don't use full screen mode on second life so a borderless windowed mode is a very good way to kind of achieve full screen without getting that uh, problem with full screen mode and most viewers or all of them don't really have this option so i actually had to use a third party software called uh auto hotkey with a script to do this and it's not that bad like it's not really laggy or heavy and once you're in borderless window mode you can quit the application and it's still gonna be in borderless window mode I i'm gonna put on the screen how to do it exactly and the next thing about ui that you can do to increase the feeling of immersiveness is by uh, hiding your own name tag like you can easily find it on most viewers just by typing name tag and you can turn off your own name tag and this is great because it allows you to see more of your environment and without the name tag it just uh, it just feels more immersive another thing about the UI is the icons like you can see that I made my icons really small and I hide the text you can easily do this by right clicking on your toolbar icons and you will find the options and by doing this it just remove a lot of the clutter that you usually see on the screen and you can see a lot more of the environment and it just gives you a more uh, sense of being in in your environment in second life and then i've also hidden the navigation bar now doing this uh, will totally reduce your uh, mobility slightly but the thing about the address bar is that when when it's there like that uh, it kind of feels like you know you feel Friend. jumpy with the address bar always there it's like an exit door that's always there like it kind of it's like a constant reminder that you can always go somewhere else and it just like you don't feel as immersed in your environment if there's a constant reminder that hey you can this is just one place among many places and you can always go anywhere just by going here and typing whatever place you want to go so by disassembling the address bar you can already feel how much more immersive the whole environment is 
just by changing the UI element, you can feel more immersed and less jumpy. I mean, I'm sorry if I don't really explain it well, but you get what what I'm trying. Activated. Activated. What? <laughs> I'm sorry. What Searching. I'm trying to say. Goodbye. And after the UI elements, uh, the final thing that affects the feeling of immersion the most is the actual environment or objects in Second Life. And this is not something that you can always control, of course, but uh, in case if it's like your home or your place, uh, the kind of objects or how to say it, the quality of the objects and how you design the space itself contributes a lot to the feeling of or to the quality of how things look in sex life like a lot a lot of people say sex life looks old and stuff and you know that's totally not true i mean a lot of people believe that sex life just cannot look good and this just not true that depends a lot on your settings which i've mentioned earlier and also the quality of the objects that you use sex life is very capable of looking good i mean even on par with a lot of AAA games out there a lot of people don't realize that triple a games out there look as good as they are because the environment has been cultivated in very specific ways and you can achieve that on sex life just by knowing what you're doing and there's a lot that that goes into this but basically the choice that you make in terms of what to put at your place and what you wear or what and how to create things and how to put them together contributes a lot in making a place looks good or immersive in sake life so sake life is very very capable of competing with a lot of games out there in terms of look and graphics you, you just need to know what you're doing so yeah uh, those are the things that you can do to increase your overall feeling of immersion in sex life you can do it the way i do it exactly or you can adjust um the settings based on your own personal preference but you, you get the overall concept of what i'm trying to say here by the way if if you think that's annoying this portal turret you can see the arm version here. Hi, sentry mode like, activated. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope the video is useful and stuff.